Good morning. We are at Orange County, New York. And we're going to head over to Mount Pocono. I suggest I got to check the barometer. Um, uh, so we're going to head over to Mount Pocono Airport this morning. What we'll do is we'll go direct to KMPO. Enter, enter, activate the plan there. But a tax on a 2 2. Orange County traffic. Let's listen to the weather. And in the base for 2 2, Orange County. 1058 Zulu. Wind 2 1 0 at 0 3. Alright, 2 2. 0. Sky condition clear. Temperature 1 9 Celsius. Dew point 1 8 Celsius. Altimeter 3 0 0 2. Remarks. Density 3 0 altitude, 0 100. 2. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather. All right, we got the weather. That's good. We're going to use uh, flight following out there. So what I remember, remember to do now is go over here, uh, go to barometer, and then we're going to go uh, 3002 plus, oops, wrong way, plus. Three zero zero two. So that's in there. The backup. Same kind of concept with your tape speeds and everything else. And uh, like here, here's a trap. You can see this guy coming in right here on the Dynon screen. Go full. I'll show you. So he's right here, and he's over there coming in. Two two. We're taxiing down, we're on Alpha, just passing uh, Alpha 3. We're gonna do our run up up here. We got plenty of fuel, 23 gallons on the left, 22 gallons on the right. And of course I forgot my wallet at home today, so thank God I filled up last night. Or, yeah, I forgot this morning, I should say. I was already to the airport. Don't you hate that? When you're already to the airport and you forget something. It's like you can't go back. Well, I'm only 20 minutes away. I'm on a very tight schedule this, today. And this has to get to Mount Pocono so they can work on it. Uh, they're going to do a uh, new carburetor. I'll explain a little bit more of that when we get in the air. Uh, what's going on with it. Okay, so we're in a run-up area. On Alpha. And we're going to do the checklist. I'll keep you guys on board this time with the checklist because it's not a, a, a long flight. So I have some uh, room left in the SD cards here. Okay, so what we're going to do is the checklist out. I have it actually in here, but you know what? I'll just do this for now. We already did a walk around, and one I'll do a video on the walk around one of these days here. So brakes are set. We're on the fullest tank. We're gonna trim, uh, trim for takeoff. Okay, and we're gonna check the flight controls, free and clear. Up, down, up, down. Looking good. Everything feels good. Nothing feels like it's stuck. Um, instruments are all in the green. We have fuel pressures in the green. Uh, oil um, oil temperature, oil pressure, and we have our amps and we have voltage we're using. That's all in the green. We're full fuel. Okay, mixture is full best. Oh. Now we're going to go to 1900 to 2000 on the RPMs right down here, and we're going to check the mags. Right, pretty close, right? No, oh, almost exactly 19. A little was good there. So left mag, check. Right mag, check. Nice drop on both. Go back to both. And then we're going to check the prop cycle. But we're going to look for, sorry for the phone ringing, guys, but we're going to look for an RPM drop. And we have an RPM drop. And we'll look for 
oil pressure drop is right here. Oil pressure. Okay, we got a drop in oil pressure. And then we're going to check anything on the windscreen here, any oil that comes up in case there's a crack. And we're looking good. So the prop cycle is good. And then we're going to go back to the checklist here. Uh, we have no vacuum. We have a carb heat test, so it should be a drop in RPMs. Nice 50, pretty much 50 RPM drop. Push that full forward. Um, we have we have no vacuum pump again. Amps are good. Volts are good on this side. Fuel pressure is good. Oil pressure is good. Uh, oil temperature is good. And then we're going to go back to 1,000. Should you go back to idle here. It's a bit more of a test here. Idle. Pull that car heat out and see if it stalls out. Perfect. Okay. Back to 1,000. Okay, so we're good there on the engine check. We're going to do flaps 15. Flaps are 15. Make sure, we'll pull the mixture out a little bit because I don't like to get that barb. Um, mag gets kind of iffy if you don't lean it sometimes. Okay, we don't need a pedo heat. Fuel pump's going to come on shortly. Then we're going to check the uh, taxi wet, or the runway. The uh, compass doors are going to be locked. Okay. Door's locked. This little window's locked. Hang lights coming on. It's already on for taxi. And then strobes will come on now. And we'll go to timer. And we're going to run the timer. Okay, so we're good. Brakes released and ready to go. Taxi's full throttle, 27 RPMs max, manifold pressure. And rotate at uh, 60 knots or 69 miles an hour. And then VY is 100 to 87 knots. 100 miles an hour, 87 knots. Okay. We're done with the checklist. We're all good. Looking taxi, look around. Nothing's going on here this morning. It's early. Wait for the Cessna to clear here. Orange County traffic. Skyhawk departing. 2-2, two -two, Orange County. Okay, we're going to stop here. Hold short line here. Everything looks good. I'll put this map on full. Put the regular map on this time today. Uh, nice terrain. Look at that nice graphics. I know you probably can't see because the, the, the cameras give you some glare. I don't have any glare, really, for these screens. Not with the sun hitting it, but the camera doesn't really do a good job with it. Um, but yet, here's a lot of terrain out there. See, see all that? And our course heading is going to be uh, two, uh, 259. Um, so we'll go to... Uh, 4500. And then we're going to go to... 259. Okay. And we're going traffic. Uh, Mooney taking uh, 22 for departure. Orange County. That'll uh, be departure out to the uh, northwest. Okay. Assess, are you seeing the pattern, sir? Okay. Whatever. Okay, so 2-2. Two, two. We're on 2-2. Two, two. Look at the synthetic vision coming in. Nice. There's that traffic. He's climbing. 2-2, two, two, pretty close to 2-2. Two, two. And let's roll, we're good. Mixture's full rich, Orange fuel County pump's County coming on. Two, two. So always make sure you put the mixture back in on departure. Okay, we're looking good. We're locked, locked, locked. Let's go. Well, slowly with the power, long runway here. And full power is in. Right rudder. Okay, 65, 70, rotate. Take it that nothing in the way to Johnson Bar here. Gear's coming up. 
Our gear is up and locked. Sunny traffic, Skyhawk, downwind for 2 2. And then Dynon here says gear is up as well. So we'll trim down a little bit. Okay, flat can come up now. And Orange County traffic, uh, moving to partner pattern to the west, climbing to 1000. Orange County, see you later. What year is that, Mooney? Uh, 1968, sir. Nice looking paint job. I uh, appreciate it, thank you. Okay, fuel pump can come off. power back. You see how hot it gets, how quickly hot the uh, cylinder gets, even on a cool morning? Uh, that's the problem I'm having with the carburetor. It's uh, not putting out enough fuel. Orange County traffic, Skyhawk, turn at base for 2-2, Orange County. Um, so we're, that's what the issue I'm having with it. Um, I've got it, I've had it already um, overhauled, uh, and it's still, they put in bigger cell, um, points, like 3% of uh, what the injectors, but it's, it's just not where I need it to be still. And uh, Kurt from Warner Aviation said that it's got to be changed, which would fix the problem. So that's what, we, that's what we're going to do. So sometimes it's, it's not worth overhauling anything. Just get a new one. Pretty extra, five, eight hundred dollars whatever it might be. It's just worth it. Because now look what I'm doing. I'm flying back out there. I'm down for four hours. Uh, so, But it's okay. I'm flying. Okay, let's pull that RPMs back. 25. All right, let's go over to New York. Point three. There's a highway in the sky there, trying to catch up to that at 4,500. That's where I bugged it. In New York, good morning. Uh, Mooney, November 6, 88, 7 November, with a request. American 1984, Clitoric Park, climb maintain at 1, 7,000. Mooney calling approach, go ahead. Uh, Mooney, 6887 November, just a part of Orange County, um, heading west, climbing through 3,000 for 4,500, requesting flight following to uh, Mike Papa Oscar, now Pocono. Be your final altitude? Uh, final altitude will be 4,500. Timber 3003, standby for spot. American 1984, were you given Lancaster? That's declared. Departure EPS 2259, past 1.9 for 6,000. Air 520, Whiskey Sierra, climb maintain 17,000, contact New York Center 125.32. American 1500, New York departure, Roger. Departure UPS 2259, pass 2.2 for 6,000. UPS 2259, North departure radar, contact the direct weird, maintain 6,000. Direct weird, maintain 6,000, UPS 2259. Number 5, Mike Victor, Clitoric Newell, call maintain 17,000. Okay, we're all looking good. Let's trim down a little bit more here. Yeah, blue 1505, Clark White. We have a headwind of 17 Seven, miles. 6887 November, squawk 4222. 422 in the box, Brace November. Mary Jet 972, contact New York Center, 12532. Jet 972, contact New York Center, 714, Whiskey Alpha, climb, maintain 17000. PS 2259, contact Boston Center, 134.3.
34-3, PS-2259, thanks. 6887 November, radar contact about 10 miles to the east of Huguenot. Show you at 4100 at this time, maintain VFR. Maintain VFR, please remember, thank you. Okay, so we got flight following out of New York. Going to cruise along here. Pick up. Let's kick up those inches a little bit. 1500, roger, climb and maintain, one 3000. Okay, Blue looking 1505, good. 1505, climb, maintain, one Temperature's coming down. So yeah, so that's uh, one of the issues I'm having, still. American 1984, so contact we're gonna get New that York taken Center, 12532, just advise them that you are direct Lancaster. Okay, so we're looking Keep good right now. 4,500. Delta 1014, I believe you checked in, climb into 11. 1014, Clark Robinsville, maintain 17,000. We're flying through to, like a plenty of video game right now, we're flying through to... November 714, Whiskey Alpha, here. Center, 125.32. Then I'm going to pull back this mixture a little Number bit. Number 5, Mike Victor, contact New York Center, 125.32. Bit of a quartering headwind. It's coming out of 284 um, at 22 miles per hour. I'm going to stay right at 4500 because what they do is a lot over here. I know it's not busy right now with aviation yet, yet with the uh, commercial stuff. Starting but 1500, climb maintain 17000. Huguenots over here and a lot of the guys going into the city. Um, use that as a point to hit to go down to the city at 5,000 typically. So, we're going to stay at 4,500. Let's look at the weather here over there. We should They have weather, so let's go to information. Uh, let's go to weather. So, VFR, uh, 24 minutes ago. Uh, visibility is 10, 10 uh, uh, statute miles. Um, we have skies are clear, 18 uh, Celsius, 2.15 Celsius, temperature spread is 3, 3 Celsius, altimeter is 30.09 inches, um, density altitude is 2747. Um, it's pretty good. So, 320 at 4 knots. United 1071, contact New York Center, 132. Oh, 320. American 1500. Oh, we'll use uh, 31. I'm going to use 31. So I want to see if I can do uh, procedures just to mess with it. Uh, RNAV for 31. Uh, let's see what that does. We'll, do, we'll use vectors. And I'm going to activate that approach. I'm going to see what it does. Breakyard 5793, North Project Clitorex, Zims, climb maintain 17,000. So yeah, so carburetors, the brand new carburetor be taken out, to, or taken, uh, the old one taken, I know, right, what a morning. Uh, the old one taken out, they're going to take it out and put the new one in. Breakyard 5793, contact New York Center, 125.32. So, um... That taken care of because it's it's just not. It, listen, it's a 1968. Delta 1014, contact New York Center, one at two five point. With the original carburetor, just overhauled, the injectors were overhauled, and they still sometimes need to just get a new one. So, a lot of years usage out of that. This plane, it's time to get a new one. Simple as that. Everything's looking good outside. It's clear. Beautiful day to fly. Um, I think all day it's going to be a uh, uh, you know, good day to fly. And uh, I'm going to show you guys here in a second what it looks like. The clear out towards the north. I'm going to come around here. There's Fredo. And there's out towards the city, New York City out that way. It's very, very clear. And of course, the Dynon screens are right here. Southwest 966, New York departure, Clark Park. So we're at uh, 4,500. 
but that this this magenta line right here is telling us to hit the uh, but this magenta line right here. Oh, that's why that's off. If I had direct, it would be I'll be following that. But there's a nice panel view. There's a backup. And of course, Avidyne 540. And there's the other map screen I'm having on, just testing that out. And uh, 4,500. Okay, turn this off. I just hit vectors into um, 3 1. And I'm going to see how how the like the highway in the sky, as I call it, those boxes. I'm going to see how it captures it down, and I want to follow it down. I want to see what it does. Because um, with the autopilot, I'm hoping to get some time. I don't think it's going to be this year, to be honest. Um, is it, it will it will do a whole approach for you? So I'm just trying to. 5793, contact New York Center, one two five point three two. I flew in a claim um, yesterday, two days ago actually. If you guys check out my uh, Facebook um, page, you'll see that. It's a beautiful airplane. Really beautiful airplane. That autopilot would do everything. Our 6887 November, contact Wilkes Ferry Approach, 1 and 20.9 or 5. 20 or 9 or 5 now for Ace River. Thank you. Good day. Okay, switch over. Approach, good morning. Uh, Mooney 8th of November is with you at 4,500, heading to uh, Mount Pocono. November 8th, 7th of November, Wilkes Approach, Wilkes Altimeter 3007. 3007, 8th of November. You know, I have to come back over here. Zero. Zero seven. Um, I, one thing I do would be awesome is when you when you change this barometer on this screen, that somehow Dynon can have the wiring connection so it communicates with well, the backup uh, here, zero, uh, the D10A. Charlie, a, but when you do this, and it automatically does that. Approach, works out to minute, Just which would be nice. Or if you can't, uh, if you want to do it separate, you can still have the ability to do it separate. So this won't communicate with this, but I'd like to have this communicate with that for the barometer. It would be nice. Okay, looking good so far. Uh, we're on flight following. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to information so I forget the frequency because there's so many frequencies around here. I'm going to go to com. Uh, and we're going to go to Uticom. We're going to put that down here. Actually, we're going to put it right now. No, we're going to put it down here. Two two seven. And okay, we'll put that over here. And I'm going to put in the weather too. One two zero two seven. There's my top of descent right there. I'm kind of going the long way out of the way here. I just want to see how this thing would work. Let's get back down to 45. Okay, we're going to do now switch tanks. So we're going to go, um, let's see. Really can't make any airports if the, if the transfer fails. Um, so I'm going to hold off a little bit longer. I just like to be able to um, try to find a place to land. Even if, there's not, even if I'm not close to an airport, at least find a place to land in a field, which you see underneath us, if the camera is on or working underneath the, the plane right now. Everything is trees. So I can't land anywhere here. Um, I have some water I may be able to go into, um, but there's no fields, no airport close for the glide. So we're gonna stick with that tank right now because it is working. Everything looks good, everything's in the green. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, and we had a great turnout in the barbecue Saturday. Uh, that was July 18th. Um, about 160 plus people. We had about 30 motorcycles. Um, we had about 40 cars that showed up. 
from the outside of the public and also with the motorcycles from the public. We had 50, about 58 to 60 airplanes. Um, we cooked 180 hot dogs, 180 hamburgers. We had some live music. Uh, we had some military planes that came in, them on display. It was just an awesome turnout, and thank you guys uh, for showing up and uh, with the support. It was great. Uh, next year, uh, now that hopefully, I mean, geez, if COVID is is not over by next this time next year, then we have more of a problem than we really have. Uh, but um, leaving altitude. I'm gonna actually go to information. What is there? I think it's 2,700. So 19. 3,000 is their traffic pattern altitude. We add 1,000 to that. So let's go to 3,000 the altimeter, put that back down. Okay, so, you know, I'm going to have less restrictions when it comes to the airport. So it is a county airport. And I have to you know, follow the rules uh, when it comes to social distancing and the amount of people I was allowed to have. I was way over what I was allowed to have, but people were really spread apart in the grass, had brought their own chair, so there was no issue. Uh, people really were really good with that. Uh, but next year, I'm hoping to have more vendors to come and all that stuff. Uh, so it'll be, it'll be good 13, next 20, year for sure. Flighting 080, vector visual 4. Okay, put a power down. 080, vector visual 4, flight 1326. And approach your Mooney 8th November, request descent to my destination. 7 November, altitude is your discretion. Uh, my discretion for eight November, thank you. Oh, we could make, um, not quite. We still can't make that airport. Let me see what's below me here. Nope, all trees. A lot of trees. <laughs> so we're gonna keep going straight on here. I'm trying to get to this line, magenta line. Of my vector is two, three, one. Um, so we have. So we are 11 nautical miles away from Yekti, and then we are 14 nautical miles from the airport for 3-1. So ETA for Yekti is uh, four minutes. The weather is still favoring 3-1, that's good. To intercept that line, you can see it down here, the highway in the sky there. Uh, we're going to try to get in those boxes. I want to see what the what it does with the glide. I'm curious. Approaching altitude. I make that right turn. the box is coming in. The camera's working, yep. Those boxes are coming in now, so now I'm on basically a 3-1 heading, pretty close. Sussex traffic, Skyhawk, turn and save for 2-1, Sussex. I uh, could drift way off here. Okay. And now we're going to traffic, uh, moving east November is about uh, six miles, six and a half miles out uh, to the east. We'll be inbound for 3-1 on the yard now. Now we Okay, now I'm going to follow these boxes down. I want to see what it does. You can see the runway in front of me. We are a little low. Okay, we're passing, just about passing Yek B. B. We're following the boxes. Runway's right down there. 
Okay, we're looking good now. So now we're on the final approach fix here for 3-1. Pass yet be. And I'm going to see what happens. This is coming in, the glide slope is coming in. And we're going to follow that down. I'm going to see what it does. So let's slow down. That gear speed. Put gas. The carriage not yet. Mixture. Put the prop. In a little bit. Don't over uh, um, or, uh, rev it. Getting that gear speed, slow us down a little more. Looking for 127 miles, or under 120 miles an hour. Pull up a little bit. Okay, gear's coming down now. The gas is on. On the carriage, mixture's full reg prop. Come in now, full forward. The yeah, fuel pump is on. We're on the fullest tank. Already switched that. My seatbelt on. We're gonna watch our speed, and it's throwing some flaps here. Two notches. Every time you put flaps in, trim up a little bit. Or Mooney, that is. I don't know about the other airplanes. Too low. There you go. Okay. All flaps are in. Leaving altitude. At Mount Pocono traffic, Mooney is a short final 3 1. Mount Pocono, full stop. Okay, looking good. Gas under carriage mixture prop. Speed is good. Let's get down a little high. Get that gear. Five hundred. And there's the vision of the whole airport. A little bit of a crosswind coming out three five zero at fourteen miles an hour. So it's crabbing. A okay, gear check. Gears down. Gears down. Green green. Eighty miles an hour. Perfect. And waves coming in on the synthetic vision. And let's go to idle here. More check with that gear. Okay, very good. the door. Okay, we well, made it to Mount Pocono. He's going to get a new barbiter. Fuel pump's coming off. In Mount Pocono traffic, uh, moving to be taxing the winner. Mount Pocono. Oh, thanks again, guys, for flying along with us today. Uh, I'm going to get a couple things done. Flaps up and pull the mixture out. Today for the airplane, new carburetor. Uh, Kurt's going to hook me up, help me out, and uh, get that done. So if you guys uh, in the area, check out Winter Aviation or Mount Pocono. MPO is the identifier. Um, really good people. They really, really are GA company. They love it. They're like GA buffs, <laughs> you know? So I'm happy to do business with them. If you like what I'm doing, folks, subscribe to my channel. You know, I appreciate that. And I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Like always, folks, fly safe, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. A good one.